What's up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here and that was the slime farm. I hope that you like it. I'm going to take you around for a tour today, but I thought I would show you this. Right now there's like 69-ish. I've had between 69 and 70 slimes in here and uh, this is what I wanted to show you. When I move away from them... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. So, um, I think I have sound turned off. Let's hear some slurping. Oh. I think we've over-slurped the game. Um, so I'm level 11 now. Let's go ahead and eat some food, and then let's see how much XP we get off this, which I'm assuming won't be much, but, um... And uh, then I'll show you kind of how it's working. Oh my gosh, there are lots of slimes here. I'm gonna see how many slime balls I get too. I have none in my inventory. Alright, slowing down. Slowing down the amount of freaky slimes that are everywhere. And we're done. So level 11, and then we'll push this. Come back! Alright, so two levels, so not that much XP. Um, it's really not an effective XP farm. Um, and you saw kind of a piece of how it's working, and I figured I'd bring you around today and show you how everything's working out. And I haven't quite finished the top part yet. Um, but I just have a, uh, a piston pusher here to push loot closer. And I do have to get up into the corners in order to get the loot. I tried a few different designs in here. Um, and this one seems to be working the best. So just a little redstone wire over there for that and then this is the on off device so uh, right now the lights these lanterns are on so that means that the spawner is on it means it's active um, and if we come down here uh, what you have is basically just uh, some wiring for the lamps that comes down to this wiring goes uh, splits off here goes to some vertical downward wiring which I'll show you and then comes over here to this T flip flop which works for the lights um, I think that this is probably less efficient than I could make it. I think it could be a little more efficient, but I was having a little bit of trouble <clears throat> making sure that I was uh, splitting up all the redstone because of the proximity. It's all very close with the piston pusher, the uh, redstone lanterns on the T flip flop, and the button that comes down into here. So if you come down this way, you have this vertical wiring, um, and then downward uh, vertical wiring for redstone is a little bit tricky. But if you can see, that's kind of how you do it. It's basically like a three block space on each side in between each block. So what I mean is there's a block, three blocks down, there's a block, three blocks down, there's a block. So a block, and then you stagger, and then redstone torch the insides, and then redstone wire the tops. And that gets your vertical wiring. It goes all the way down into there. And then let's head over here to the slime farm and uh, kind of show you what's going on down in here. Um, I have some things to talk about as far as what I think about what I've done. I didn't realize I hadn't uh, fixed that up. But um, So this is what it ended up looking like, and here's your vertical wiring. Uh, now, this is regular redstone vertical, on, and on each side it goes up um, like so. And uh, also, let's go, before I do this, I want to go ahead and turn the, uh, the spawner. Well, I'll show you when I go up. I'll show you it through the x-ray machine. So each level's uh, fairly identical until you get down to the bottom level. The bottom level of wiring, uh, I had to stagger these ladders, and there's wiring behind the walls. Um, and this is the pathway that comes over to the vertical wiring that goes up. And then back here, you can see I'm going to end up filling all this in, of course. But there's the wiring as it goes around to the four vertical pillars. Um, and actually, it looks like we have a bit of a mess. So, let's see here. I'm having a little bit of an issue with this ladder. No, I'm having a little bit of an issue with the bottom level reacting. The bottom level of water reacting a little bit more quickly than any of the other levels. Um... Let me see here. Let me see what's going on here real quick. That's off. Let's 
It's all off, so I should be able to toggle... I can't toggle crap. I'll have to toggle them... I'll have to toggle them like this. So let me go ahead and toggle these so that I can get all the levels um, on at the same time. Um, this uh, issue happens because I've had some issues with uh, the wiring. Um, the vertical downward wiring. Um, over in this area, I uh, I shut this, or I, I flooded this tunnel about six times. Um, no matter what I tried, the water kept seeming to come down here when I was working on the spawner up top. Um, so it was a little bit of a pain in ye old ass. So I should be able to toggle the rest. Yeah, you can see the water starting to drip. And we're back, and I thought I'd bring you over here and kind of show you what actually happens when one of these guys falls down in. And we'll go down to the drowning chamber at the bottom. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I hope he didn't... There's no way he made it out. Didn't he? What a jerk face. So we'll see if we can get him to come over here while well, he's up there. He should be following me, most likely tracking me still. Um, here is the, the drowning chamber, and it's pretty straightforward. Um, I want to talk a little bit about what I would do if I was to do this again, um, and I would absolutely make it smaller. Um, it does not, there's just, considering the low amount of uh, XP that you get from slimes, there's just like no reason that you need to make it this big. Come on, guy, where are you? Let's get him in here. I'm surprised that he got out, but um, when I'm not around, it works fine um, because the way that slimes uh, behave, they basically pick a direction and start moving towards that direction, be it and always at an angle of some sort. Um, so then we get the bad boy in the drowning trap like so. He is an unhappy slurpy fapper and... Uh, Eventually here he'll turn into medium size and then small size and we can see those guys move around as well So then go to the medium size guys. Um, I left a little doorway here over to the uh, The cave system that's down here. So I have a way to get down into this area if I need to um, And then as you can see here um, Come down into this area and we move them along out into the ladder system So let me see if we can get these guys to go like so, and they move down in this way, like so, and then off to their dooms up at the spawner. So all in all, pretty cool build, but as I had said before, if I was to do it again, absolutely would make it much smaller. Um, and most likely just because the amount of XP that you get um, is, is not worth building something this big. Um, it was fun to build and it is an, uh, a very, pretty area um, and it's very it's just a very cool slime farm uh, but it doesn't need to be this intense so uh, if I were you I might build a couple of levels maybe two or something like that um, and then you won't have to really worry about um, having it take as long as it's taken me which honestly it's been I would have to say that I have over 24 hours in this build so it's a huge amount of time um, and most most of that time came from the redress um, came from putting the snow on it um, I think that that was the biggest time suck uh, so if we hit this that's right Piach um, you actually may notice a little bit of chop right now and that's as the water is doing its thing it gets a little choppy um, but if we take a look down in here, fingers crossed, everything should be working fine, and it's not. Oh, no, it is. Uh, yeah, off. So, off and off. Are you back here? Oh, good. You accidentally... Yeah, so suck it. Um, so, also, if you can see down inside of there, I actually fixed the problem of not having the water touch all of the sides. And all I had to do was raise the dispensers up one block. So, when they're down in the closest block... Um, Basically, 
you know how when water falls a block it extends itself so this water being raised a block actually is falling a block so it's extended its fall radius by one in all directions um, and uh, works perfectly does not create any source blocks does take some time to turn off um, so the water um, as it flows down from the top does take I don't know about a minute uh, to get all the way down to the bottom and evacuate the chamber, the, the slime area completely. Uh, but it's pretty cool. I like it. It's a fun piece of uh, our world and it's a good addition to the canvas. Yeah, you can see I can feel that lag now as the water's all moving. Um, but slime balls, I has them. Um, the amount of slime balls is ridiculous. Um, and just building the farm... Let's take a look at how many slime balls we got. So that's how many slime balls I got just in building the farm. So almost an entire double chest. I have no need of slime balls at all, but I thought that we would do something fun right now. Start putting away some stuff, and I thought that we would make some pistons. So let's do it. All right, so there we go. We got eight stacks of pistons made. And one, two, three, four. Let's slime ball four of these guys so we can get four stacks of sticky pistons. And I think that that's probably going to be a good amount of pistons to start with. Um, I've been waiting for something to use a lot of resources up on. Um, and uh, that's not a huge amount, but at the same time, it's, it's a good amount. So... I think we're going to be good in the piston department for a while. We got the slime farm done finally. Um, very cool, and I'm really glad that it is over. Um, <laughs> it was uh, too big of a build. And if there's anything that you take away... Oh, also, obviously, I think I may have mentioned I'm going to beautific beautificate this area and make it better and cooler and stuff and things. Um, so that's to come. I'll probably work on that later today. But... Um, yeah, so also been doing the, remember the Slenderman series is on now? We're really making moves on the channel. Slenderman series, and now we got Borderlands 2. Um, so just released an LP of that on Wednesday. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have a moment or you'd like to take a look, I would appreciate it. And you know we love the thumbs ups and all that stuff. So if you forgot to or you wanted to, uh, don't forget to please give it a like and stuff if you like it. I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying, just a friendly reminder. But uh, I like the look of what we have going on here, kind of. It looks good in its unfinished state, um, but I'm going to have to do something a little bit different, and I'm not quite sure. I have some ideas, but um, yeah. Um, so, pretty cool. I hope that you enjoyed it with a little montage intro. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter one today, but um, yeah. I hope that uh, you had a, a nice time hanging out on your Friday. Um, Maybe we can do something else. We'll do a little bit of this and that while we're here. Um, as I've been here, I've been basically neglecting all my other farms. I haven't been collecting any uh, pumpkins or watermelon or anything like that. And uh, I probably could have done um, a lot of pumpkin and watermelon farming while I was here. So I don't know if I'm going to end up building something out of watermelons. I have a, a couple over there. Um, and we still have the paper tray that we need to do. Um... Part of me wants to build... I know I said I was going to go. I'm not going to go. I'm just going to hang out with you a little bit longer. It's Friday. We've got to hang out. Anyway, part of me wants to build a bigger, much bigger uh, sugarcane um, factory of some sort. But I may just end up doing it kind of ghetto style. Maybe not ghetto style, but ethos style. And just non-automated. Um, 
because I want to get a lot more sugarcane and this stuff just takes too long to grow for what I'm getting three stacks every uh, 10 minutes or 20 minutes I think it is 20 I can't remember it's uh, around 15 ish minutes but three stacks every 15 minutes and that's only if you remember to harvest it it's actually not that much if you want to get a lot of emeralds because um, at 20 per two three four six seven eight nine that's only nine emeralds or one emerald block every 15 minutes that's really slow um, so we got to do something about that but I think I know I've been talking about I actually like the look of that I think it's kind of crappy like in the way that it is right now but when, once I get it fixed up it'll be cool and I like how uh, we can see through it kind of so I'll figure something cool to do with it I might actually redesign it a little bit so that um, we can leave the redstone exposed through uh, glass it might be cool looking um, it's a little bit fugly but uh, but we'll take it we'll take it um, I think the next word of business is uh, going to change a little bit. I know I've said before we we're going to work on... Which direction am I facing? I said before we were going to work on... Uh, oh, look at them all. I might as well hang out and wait for this. We were going to work on uh, animals. But I think in order to maximize this farm and the slime farm, I have to turn this farm off as well. Um... And I think that's going to be pretty straightforward. Um, I don't think it'll be too difficult to do it. Uh, I can actually show you right now what my plan is. Um, but we'll come down here to the uh, Cheaty X-ray machine. And I'll show you. So there's the spawner. And as you can see in the center, I've got a half slab to stop spawns. I can put... This is only too high. I could actually put a full slab there. And I don't believe that... A full block. And I don't believe it's going to um, cause there to be any issues uh, with... Uh, with uh, anything spawning on it. There's no slime spawns in there. Uh, and so what I'm gonna end up doing most likely is just taking and putting a redstone lamp on top of each one. So instead of there being a half slab, there'll be a redstone lamp on each one. I'll wire that all up, um, which may be a little bit tricky, um, and pull it over to another lever or a button system or something similar to like the one we have over at the slime chunk. Um, also gotta think of a name for the slime farm. So we had the Falcon's Boot, um, I started thinking about calling it the Too Big Slime Farm, because it is a very big slime farm. Um, the Don't Ever Build It This Big Slime Farm, but if you have an idea for what you want to name the slime for, you can leave a comment on it as well. Um, but I think it's cool. It's very, very cool. I'm glad that, uh, that we did it. And, uh, yeah, next thing, we're going to be changing this over, getting some wiring in there. Then... I don't know, I got so much stuff to do. We got the front door that still needs to get fixed over here. Um, this is just ugly and fugly and not sliptopian enough at all. Um, and we got animals that we want to get uh, get uh, mm, get farmed and stuff. Um, but also what I wanted to do, I'll finish it up today. Um, I had this idea a while ago and we haven't been over to talk to Notch for a while. So I thought we'd go over to the altar and sacrifice something to him. Um, because it hasn't rained this entire episode. And instead of only asking for help when we need it, what I think I'm going to do is ask for help now and say, not just ask for help, but say thank you to Notch. So, dear Notch, gaudiest of Minecraft gods. Oh, Notch! What did Notch? You little friggin' jerk. You get nothing. You get nothing. Ugh. K.I. Ugh. Oh, friggin' making it... Oh, what a... What was that? Oh,